so hi to all the viewers of doc tutorials channel so here i am presenting to you the proud achiever of all india rank 4 in the recently conducted inis may 2025 endocrinology exam a big congrats to you dr swadi thank you sir so how do you feel now relieved mostly so thank i you. think your uh, success journey has lots of ups and downs can you please share it with you starting from your background where you're from uh, your uh, the undergraduate and postgraduate colleges and how has your journey been in the last year so actually i'm from uh, like uh, ugn pj is from ims bhu varanasi and i passed out in july 2023 uh, after i completed my md then and then um, the recent uh, neat test that was conducted that time i got a rank of 540 so i was like on the margin that i won't I, i'll get or i won't get and i was also not very clear and what the should i take the one in 2023 uh, right the neat yes, okay so i just filled the options and i got uh, dm endocrinology in rnt odepo so it was the first batch of endocrinology there but uh, there were some issues and i was not exactly liking the place also so then um, after a good 11 months sir i start like i had given uh, ini on november also last year so i was thinking that maybe like while doing if i can crack then matlab it will be like uh, some seat is there so it won't be like totally giving up the seat but then I couldn't crack it last year's uh, last session. So basically, I designed the seat in December and then started preparing for NEET and INI again. So I think uh, as a teacher, we get to interview a lot of students, the toppers, and we hear different type of stories. So some of them could be trying entirely for the endocrinology exam without going for work. Some of them would be recently passed out. And Swati, you belong to a whole different category because we have joined uh, the uh, DM endocrinology seat uh, in one of the colleges one and a half years back. And you have almost completed one year there, right? Yeah. Yeah, almost completed a year, almost finished the first year, a DM residency there. And then making a decision to resign the seat, you must have a lot of second thoughts, a lot of question marks on how it will pan out. Uh, and uh, you didn't get through in the last session as well. So there were a lot of question mark raised, but still hats off to your persistence. As the saying goes, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And I would say you are a prime example for that. So how do you yes. keep yourself motivated during all these hardships and all? Because it so, is very easy to lose your focus and lose your hope mm -hmm. and like feeling very down and all. So how do you get through all that? So actually, uh, like throughout that one year that I was there in the college, um, I always had this thought that um, I want to be in a college that uh, like it is a superficial thing also, but I wanted to be in a college that everyone knows about and that like uh, whenever I, if I go somewhere and I tell that, okay, I'm from this college. So there is some credibility to it, first of all. And then also there was this I and I thing that um, I had this thing in my mind that I have not given enough, uh, like I have not tried enough. Because in that recent uh, exam that I get, gave last year, so I had not studied at all. Like I had not studied. So there was this thing at the back of my head that, okay, I have not studied and I just got what I, like I just got what I got and then I'm just, so so that was it that I wanted to give it, like I just, just wanted to try giving it my all for once and then see what happens next. Like just, it's like uh, we often, so actually there's a thing that we get so much from our profession. And there was this thing that uh, I had a feeling that I was not I had not given enough. So that is why I thought that uh, I will try once. So I still remember the day we spoke about uh, the time before you were planning to uh, resign the seat and all. And mm -hmm. you've asked more for my advice. And I was also in two minds whether I can like vehemently force someone to uh, like, resign a seat because that would be a big gamble. She would be losing out on an year and eventually not getting what she has desired. But seeing your persistence and your desire that you have just spoken about, I've just gave it a go. And uh, like, I'm very happy and very, very happy for you that everything has panned out exceedingly well. So uh, what was your preparation? Coming back to your our academic journey, 
so how did you like it has been one one and a half years one year of them you had spent in your college and the next six months you had dedicated entirely your preparation so what all resources did you use for your endocrinology preparation sir uh, mainly my basic uh, uh, the prime source was doctor tutorials and the notes sir i had actually prepared the notes like uh, last uh, in november 2023 when i gave my first iniss uh, i had not uh, like i just uh, studied for 10 days i just prepared the notes at that time sir i did not get to revise it and all so that time i just qualified for the uh, written then uh, the notes were there and then after that sir when i joined the college i was like a little bit i would revise from the uh, from those notes because um, and then the last 6 uh, months of the college when i decided to give uh, that uh, iniss of last year november so then i started uh, then revising and revising your notes uh, and sir videos uh, even the videos i have seen all your videos i guess four five times all the videos because uh, it's always like uh, it's always like uh, when you see the video one more time you find that okay this was something i had not understood correctly before and this time i'm getting it right and sir um, also williams uh, sir uh, only the images and tables i had not read the text at all only like when very it was confusing that what should be the answer only then i would read but uh, yes sir all the images and tables are sir very helpful and the question yeah yeah i was about to ask about the question bank so how did you feel were you able to go through the entire question bank because i i, I agree that it is voluminous and uh, lots of questions are there and you may not get enough time to get all the questions done so what was your experience with the q bank so uh, the q bank also because uh, i had a long time to prepare also in a way that um, even when i was in college i, I was preparing itself uh, i didn't get time like uh, only 4 to 5 year of hours a day but then i did the question bank or even the doctor tutorials question bank uh, i have done like 4 5 times the whole uh, question bank and then the uh, elite uh, sessions or uh, the elite question uh, the tests that are there like uh, the videos are not available to all but even then the tests are and the explanations are enough um, and sir also like uh, from uh, one or two other platforms just the questions and sir i think like uh, there was this uh, thing that uh, you re- you can read freely with a free mind but the question you should always do very seriously so that was the whole thing sir so you had focused so much on the endocrinology but it becomes always crucial that 20 to 25 questions in medicine will often be rank deciding especially uh, in endocrinology exam so how did you keep in touch with the medicine and how did you prepare yourself for uh, getting those maximum number of questions right from medicine part so actually uh, right after i left the college in uh, december it december end from january i started preparing for neat ss sir uh because i had uh, i knew that i was like out of touch with medicine for the last one and a half years almost so i had to um, like give it a go for medicine first so um so most of the day i would prepare for medicine for three months three four months and then so one to two hours i used to keep to uh, keep revising the notes like even even if i get half an hour even but uh, yeah i did i never missed any day of revising the endocrinology notes because of that uh, when it gets broken so it's uh, very difficult to then start restart it again so basically so mm-hmm. three months before neat i was not uh, very much into endocrinology but um, only at night one to two hours uh, whatever i got the notes i would revise after that so after neat sir all endocrinology so were you able to attend all the grant test provided by a platform on time and how was your performance like that in the test so all the grand tests i um, appeared in uh, so my uh, ranks were like uh, i got uh, rank 3 in two of the tests in the last test i got rank 10 uh, so that was a little disheartening so i actually asked uh, my senior like um, so uh, actually you only gave me his number that if you want any advice you can ask me ask him so i asked him that okay how were you performing in the tests and all so sir he also told me that it's okay i got i used to get very bad ranks also so that's not an issue then uh, was like okay so, <laughs> maybe uh, you should not consider rank 10 as a bad one because these students who are attending grand test along with you in the platform are the ones actually 
going to get the digit lines in the exam as well. So just a matter of one or two questions, right or wrong, can actually shift your rank in a big way. We've seen that in the previous exams as well. So uh, it's very important that you have attended the exams at, on time, which will give you an exact idea because you were scoring consistently the digit ranks in the prior exams as well. So you have done extremely well in the MCQ part, but the job was only half done because you still had a departmental assessment. So how did you prepare yourself for the interview session? Did you go through all the previous interview links and how was the current interview like compared to the previous session? So I had gone through all the interview links and I had gone through it uh, previous time also because uh, I had qualified for the interview. So it was a little easier for me because the notes were already prepared. But yes, sir, um, like if I can like all 90 to 95 percent of questions are covered in the uh, video, sir. Um, I don't think they will ask anything. Only the statistics part compared like related to your thesis, they can ask whatever they want to. But uh, most of the things they are they ask from the video, sir whatever we have uh, read in the videos. I think that is enough. And uh, also, if we can revise the notes, that's, uh, that would be very helpful. And also, sir, um, the clinical rounds of uh, endocrinology by Bhansali, sir. Okay. Some chapters from that. So there would be so many students following our platform, aspiring to appear for endocrinology INI in the coming sessions as well. So what would be that advice? How to make the best uh, use of the resources available in the application and some of the general advices do you wish to give out to the aspiring students? So uh, basically, even like for, even on the app itself, whatever is visible, we can see that, okay, this, these are the videos, these are the videos. But actually, when you see random videos also, like I would see, sometimes I would see just neurology videos from Rajiv, sir. So then he would say that, okay, there are elite uh, test and discussion. So then from there, I um, came to know, okay, there's something else also. So like just seeing videos and um, sir, revising the videos, your Harrison notes, uh, Harrison tables videos, sir. I think uh, we should go through the videos as many times as possible. And then of course we have to like keep the time for uh, um, self-study also. And just like, um, just read with this thing that um, like if I read well, if I um, actually devote myself, then it won't go anywhere. Like. I, we will get it. Absolutely, absolutely. So now you have uh, two institutes to choose from. I believe you are allotted SGPGI like now from NEETSS, and now you probably have either Ames Delhi or PGI Chandigarh to choose from in your uh, INI rank. So which yes, one are you uh, going to go for, from the NEETSS or from the INI? Sir, <laughs> so INI, <I> will. <laughs> definitely. So, so definitely you'll be going for the central institutes this time. Yes, okay. sir. So very happy for you, Dr. Swati, and uh, and extre extremely proud to have such a student who is very hardworking and above all, very persistent to achieve her goal. Very happy for you and very, very big congratulations from myself and from the entire Dr. Tutorials team. Thank you for your time, Dr. Swati. Thank you, sir. And sir, you were like a big, big part and very helpful, sir. Whenever we needed any help or without getting like irritated or anything like, sir, you were always uh, available for our questions. Sir. So thank you, sir. So this is a very happy moment for me also because myself now currently practicing in, uh, in private sector where you don't get to see much of the uh, variety of cases that we used to do in government colleges. I also get a lot of cases to discuss from my students who are now they are in almost all colleges now across India. So it's always been a pleasure interacting with the students and same with you, Dr. Swati. So please keep in touch. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Very